If you guys have been keeping up with current events lately, you probably know that the internet kind of sucks right now. And lately I've been getting more into self-hosting because of that just to be able to get away from internet services. You know, I think the biggest example right now is probably media streaming services, stuff like Netflix, or Paramount, HBO, all those sites. If you actually stop and look at the big picture there, all these different companies are hosting different movies and shows, and it seems like they're all just kind of shuffling them around to get the consumer to buy as many services at once as they possibly can. If you're watching this video soon after it came out, try to watch Happy Gilmore without having Paramount. And if you're watching this years into the future, try to watch it on Paramount, it probably isn't there anymore. The point is, you have no control over it, and worst of all, you don't own anything even if you do buy it. If you go scroll to page 28 in the 400 page legal document you're agreeing to to use these services, even if you do buy quote unquote owning the movie, all you actually have is a license to watch it on their platform. And it's revocable at any time just because they want to. And there are plenty of different examples of this too. For example, if you go on the App Store or the Play Store and look for free ad blocking software, they run all of your information through their own servers to filter out ads for you. And they do that, they aren't scamming you or anything, but how do you think that they fund that? They have to maintain servers to do that action. And that is done by taking the very data you're giving them to deliver you adblock and selling it. And who are they selling it to? God only knows. If you're lucky, it's just advertisers and you're going to get ads that are weirdly personal. And if you're unlucky, you might end up on some scam call center call lists. So the way I've been distancing myself from all this is through self-hosting. If the internet sucks, I'm gonna make my own network not suck. If you guys just have no idea what I'm talking about, period, self-hosting is essentially running your own software on your own personal machines to do things that internet services do for you. And this can seem kind of scary at first, especially on the surface, but there are tons of resources out there making it much more accessible to regular people, even if you're not very tech literate. This video isn't meant to be a tutorial for specifically how to do any one thing, more so just to show you guys the possibilities of what you might be missing out on. But in the description there will be a bunch of links to various resources that I recommend if you are interested in getting started. So that begs the question, what kind of things can you do if you have a server like this? And well there's a lot of things out there. Too much to discuss just in this video, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys some of what I have. My favorite one I could see on the list here is Piehole. This is basically just a super easy to set up system for blocking ads that you can set up to go on your entire network. But if you don't want it to apply to everybody, you can also just use it for specific devices. It's all up to you. Basically, you go on Pihole's website and do their installation instructions in your Linux shell. And then you have a website that you can actually access under your network. And instead of sending off all your data to some other company that's going to sell it to provide you the service, you could just run it yourself, and anytime you're at home, you won't have any ads. And it also blocks a whole bunch of trackers you wouldn't normally notice. Pretty much, if you have any sort of problem when it comes to self-hosting or running a server at home, there is a solution somewhere, and it's probably free and open source. It's a really cool world. So now, we're going to take a break from the OBS recordings, and have a look at my setup. I actually technically have two servers, I have one at my apartment, and I have one that is much more badass at my parents' house. I have it there just because it's less likely to get stolen, and uh, they also just have a better track record with things like power outages. But I still have a very nice setup back in my apartment, and I think that you guys will appreciate it. Let's go ahead and have a look. Alright, I hope my voice sounds okay here. We're going to go into the laundry room where my internet is set up. And yeah, I have a Raspberry Pi here on a plate because I didn't want to have to buy the case for it. So yeah, this is my server. It can be as simple as that. A fucking motherboard sitting on a ceramic plate in a washroom. And another fun thing I have set up is this old laptop. You can see it's running Ubuntu right now, which is a pretty common Linux distro. But I'm actually using it as a desktop environment in this case, instead of a server. So instead of having a smart TV, which generally likes to sell your data, among other things, I have a laptop hooked up to a regular ass TV. And it has even more features than a smart TV because it's just a computer. So I can go onto another server I have, which is called Jellyfin. I just have to open up the browser and I will have a local server set up for this. Basically I go to an IP address of my Raspberry Pi 
And I have access to a Jellyfin server. Hold on, I just have to log in. And here I have access to some movies I like. I was actually at my parents' house the other day and my dad wanted to watch Tremors, so he went through his smart TV and looked for it and we were gonna have to pay to have it and he still wouldn't even own it if we did that. So we just decided not to watch it, which I thought kind of sucked and was actually my motivation to make this little setup here. And now I have access to the entire Tremors series. And back on the real mic. Don't ask where I got these from. And next up, I wanted to talk about some stuff I don't have at home. I have on a little bit of a better setup at my parents' house. And that is my Nextcloud server. So Nextcloud is kind of like a Dropbox alternative where you can self-host it. So here I have some backups of very old Xbox clips of mine. As you can see, they're just named the game. And yeah, these are some like Destiny clips from like 2016. So this is where I have backups of my old files. Nice. So yeah, there is a lot you can do with self-hosting, and while it is a bit of a time sink, you learn a lot about the way technology works, and you also get to save some money along the way. And there are so many people out there just making open source software for people to use to get away from these services, that the only thing stopping people from doing it is just being willing to put in the effort. And if you don't want to put in the effort, that is fair enough. A lot of this stuff might not be interesting to some people, but personally, I think it's been a really fun experience getting better at it, and I hope that more people will follow suit, especially given just how bad the internet's starting to be. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys before we go, and that is that I've started getting sponsorship offers from dog shit companies. It's really cool, check this out. So I've had a few over the like last few months, but here's a recent one. Uh, first of all, they're saying that they're powered by AI, but they don't actually say what AI does or how they're related to AI. And it sounds like they're just some dog shit marketing company putting themselves in the middle. But yeah, they wanted to give me like 50 bucks to, to advertise an HDMI cable, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, and it looks like it's a very overpriced shitty HDMI cable too, just based on it being $50. So that's pretty fun. And yeah, I guess they represent like different companies because I got another one where they were trying to do, do a, I don't even know what they were trying to do actually. Whatever the hell this is, a game booster. It's a, what is a game performance platform? That just sounds like a made up thing. That's not, what, what platform do you have for improving game performance? Like, yeah, it's spyware. I don't know what I expected. They're just lying and saying they're partnered with all these companies truly reputable companies such as Tencent and Blizzard. So yeah, as you could see, it's just a middleman. So you send all of your data to their servers and then they supposedly route your your uh, network packets through a better route than the default one. It's just a way of gathering information on you. It's literally spyware. So yeah, this video is just kind of me talking about my life a little bit on top of, you know, maybe some things that you guys might want to do too. So I thought I'd show that off just to be totally transparent with you guys about what's going on. By the way, if I do ever advertise a dog shit product in the future, I've been kidnapped. You need to call the police. I'm not really sure what I want to do with the channel going forward. I've had a ton of fun just doing the gaming videos with you guys in the past, but YouTube and just the internet as a whole is starting to look really bleak. And on top of that, I'm getting some interest in taking a job that would probably make it harder for me to continue running this channel. I'm interested in becoming a police officer because I think it's a way that I can bring some good to the world, or at least to the city I live in. And I've experienced some things that have made me really want to do it, so I'm pursuing that. Right now, I have a lot of free time with my current job, but I don't know if I'm going to keep having that forever. Either way though, for everybody who's watched to the end of the video, I deeply appreciate you being here with me, and I hope that things are going well for you too.